Welcome everyone to the Legendary Faith Podcast. My name is Alyssa Massey and I am so glad that you're joining me today. Today is episode 60, two reasons why you should never give up. Often in this world, we are tempted to give up. Too many times to count. Would you agree with me? There was a time in my life back in 2010 that I had given up on life. So for that reason, I kept drowning myself in sin. Now I was drowning myself in alcohol, but this was like a ripple effect. I then became blinded by the truth and I just gave up, gave up on any purpose that I had, gave up listening to any kind of encouragement and then chose to just surround myself with negativity. I was blinded by my sin and I had given up but God did not give up on me. Even though I chose to walk away, God did not walk away from me. He was with me the entire time. Now I was saved, but I chose to walk away. And even though I chose, God didn't give up on me. And so whatever it is you're facing today, I want to encourage you that God has not given up on you. Jesus died on the cross so that you could be set free. This doesn't mean it's easy. This doesn't mean that we won't be in bondage, but it does mean we are free. If we believe it, if we choose to believe it and then act upon that. Don't do like I did and turn your back. Choose to walk the other way. You have to choose to believe that you are set free and that you have a reason not to give up. And if you know God, you have a yearning in your heart. And even if you're on the brink of death, you have a knowing, a knowing that there is more to this life that you cannot completely give up. There is still a mustard seed of hope within you if you know Jesus Christ. That's all it takes is a mustard seed of hope. And if you don't know Jesus Christ today, I'm inviting you to accept him into your heart today. And the devil is working overtime. In this very moment, there is more and more evil around us. You don't want to be a part of that. You were not meant for that. Do you want to really live in darkness? No, you have to quit surrounding yourself with it. You have to quit being around the negative influences and just saying, oh, it's no big deal. It's no big deal to listen to devil music. No, that stuff is getting in your head. Choose to turn down the negativity and choose to open your heart to Christ because he is calling out to you today. And the number one reason that you should never give up is that God has a purpose for you. Jeremiah 29 11 says, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, give you hope in a future. You always have a future with Christ. Even if you accept him on your deathbed, you have a future forever. No matter what you did, if you messed up your entire life, but accept him in your latter years, hey, you can still be at those pearly gates. The alternative, and nobody wants to talk about this. The alternative is hell. There is a hell and there is a Bible and you open it up and it will tell you, but I'm here today and I'm saying, I don't want anyone to go there. I want us all at those pearly gates. I was the one that gave up on myself and lived in darkness, but I'm here today and I do have the Holy Spirit within me. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ into your heart, here is your invitation. Accept him now as your Lord and Savior. Ask him for forgiveness for your sins. It's called repentance. Say, Lord, I want you to be the Lord of my life forever. You know, it's a choice. It's an accepting, accept Jesus and not the world. Never accept the world's ways because the world can be quite trashy. Oh, we don't want to go down that route. Surround yourself with positive, encouraging people. And you may have to seek them out because let's face it, difficult people are around us all the time and they are the ones that help us to grow. Sometimes there are motivation to change. In order to know all the possibilities, you need support, you need encouragement. Speaking of encouragement, the number two reason why you should never give up is because other people are depending on you. Other people need you, not only for your voice of encouragement and to be a voice for God, because Jesus said, go out and make disciples for Christ. And that is a universal calling. People you don't even know, they need you. They need your voice. They need your testimony. They need to know how you made it out of that deep, dark pit. If you're still in the pit, if you're facing a challenging situation and you're hopeless, know that God will use that testimony. So don't let the devil fool you into thinking this is it because that's not it. 
do you really want to sit there and believe that darkness is it for you or that never ending pain is your final suit in life? No, there's more to it. God gives us the strength to proceed. Last week, a few days ago, I was in a lot of pain and sometimes the pain comes and goes. And so it's a lot harder for me to sit there and say that. But I know from experience that I just have to write it out. Things will get better and then I can be an encouragement for someone else. I'm stronger and I can make better choices and I can be more aware of my surroundings and what I'm eating and who I'm listening to. The same is true for you. There's always a hope, just a mustard seed of hope is all it takes. And the alternative is drowning in fear and doubt. And you don't want that. When you're in pain, physical, mental, relational pain, you don't want to doubt more. You want to hope. Jesus Christ is your hope. Other people need you. Not only to share the good news of Jesus Christ, but your family needs you. Your kids need you. They need you to not give up. They see your powerful strength. That strength is a testimony. If you have God in your life, it God's gives you the strength. So don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on your family, your children. Don't get me wrong. It's hard, but you can be in pain and doubt and then choose to not give up. This will only make you stronger. Say, I choose to not give up. I'm in pain. I'm sad. I'm depressed. I'm anxious, but I choose to not give up. I choose and then go take action. Go open your Bible, say a prayer, find support, go find support. The devil wants you blinded thinking there is no hope. There's no support. There's only your nagging coworkers. Hey, I've been there. I've given up on myself, but God never gave up on me and he has not given up on you either. And I'm not giving up on you. My prayer is that you find the encouragement to keep pressing forward in faith. And my prayer is for all of you to keep going. Even when things aren't so glamorous, even when you're not getting all the likes or the attention, and it can be so easy to get wrapped up in all those things, but that's not what it's all about. We're not working for people here. We're working for Christ and Christ has a great purpose for you. And so your testimony, I believe will be one is one of victory. And you're going to get through this. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a blessed week. Remember the best is yet to come.